Hey guys. Actually, back to my normal self. I'm finally in makeup again. Oh my god, normally I'm just wearing mascara a lot earlier. I thought I actually got up early enough this morning, though, and had enough time that I could do makeup, which was awesome. And I feel awesome. Um, which is great. I just had to say awesome again. There's this thing called word choice. You learn about it in language arts or English or whatever you call it in the third country. Um, I think it's just like known as language arts in the world. Um, yeah. My dad is sleeping. He's so cute. Um, yeah. Sorry to those of you who saw my, um, someone new or somebody new or whatever video it was that I posted on Friday, I think. Thursday, or whatever day it was, um, it was like a minute long, or two minutes long, and really was nothing. I don't know why that got posted, that was a mistake on my part, so I apologize for that. Um, there was a reason that I took it down. So if you didn't know about it, please why? Um, Last, okay, so school just started on the okay. um, Last Friday was a freaking weird day. So, it's so our first hour. Um, the guy sitting next to us and we had a boyfriend and we were supposed to be working on our project, which we weren't doing anyway. Nobody was working on the project. Um, and, and then, speaking of him, who am I searching? Is he like Facebook? Sorry. Sorry, 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 I just need to update him on the project. And project Well, unfortunately, I have a girlfriend. Oh God, don't tell me this guy's cute. Like, he's a great, he, he's a, a friend. He'll be, he'll never be anything to my friend, honestly. Like, I'm not trying to be mean, but he's kind of attractive. Like, he's an awesome personality. He's just not a type. Really. Um. That and I'm just kind of set on one specific guy right now, which I will get into later. Um, and here I'll see yeah, I can do the third hour Friday, last Friday, I got guilt tripped by the guy that liked me in that class. Um yeah, and how crazy my birthday is next Sunday, so um, that was completely off topic. I don't know what that had to do with anything. That was really weird. Oh, but I felt good. Um. Yeah. And. Um. He guilt tripped me. For not liking him. I was like, I already felt bad, but I don't have feelings that I can reciprocate towards you. 
So I got back at him by talking about the guy that I like. Because that's how things work. So I play stupid and pretend that I have no idea if he likes me. Then he guilt trips me without reason that because he doesn't know. And then I get back at him by talking about the guy that I like. So it all works. Um, bam. Hmm. And then and also that morning before school started, um, this guy who I'm friends with who's kind of gossipy, um, decided that, or no, he was like eavesdropping and found out who I like. Because I was telling one of my friends, um, about him because I found out who she likes and I wasn't supposed to, so I was like, here, I'll tell you who I like that. Um, so I told her, and he found out, and yeah. Um, I have one friend who's very happy because the guy that I like is a natural ginger. Um, he does a terrible thing. So she God, it sucks. Cause he has a girl, the guy I like has a girlfriend. And my mom is just like, he's flirting with you. He's just waiting, like, don't put his figure out everything and break up with his girlfriend. And he's flirting with you. And my mother, don't even try to get the help of that. I mean, I don't know, maybe he is. Uh, it would be wonderful if he was. But I got no idea. And it comes to the point where because people are saying things, then I get. I had to check something. Um, I don't want to get my hooks up on anything. Um, and it seems that every day now I'm going to end up, if I bring my iPod, I'm going to end up leaving lunch, not being able to hear out of my right ear. Because he, we used to kind of a similar, or at least I have a band on my iPod, and he likes that band a lot. He very close to like every day. Um, but yeah. Anywho, <coughs> back on the past topic. Oh, wait, no, I should finish what I'm on here. Um, I'm just through my iPod and listen to them um, so like full blast and I'm like and then I'll take my headphone out and I'm like I can't hear um this is always a good time. Um but yeah. Anywho, so he's a natural ginger, he does his hair black and has like a piercing and a tongue piercing and like all black. And stuff. And long hair. It's like this stuff right here. Like we got my hair is as long as it is. No, just not really going to be cut up to you. Um. And yeah, and he was kind of. But she didn't have any of it. Like shock. Cause like I've seen pictures of him without it. He has a picture on Facebook of him without um eyeliner. And I'm gonna be honest. It is not the most attractive picture. Um,
And at least the pictures he has without the guy liner that I saw. Not very attractive. Um, but he was fine today. It was, it was an odd thing. It was an odd thing. Um, yeah. So, my job is to just be a total flirt and hope that he realizes that I'm flirting with him. Because he's cute. And I really like him. Okay, here's what I here's here's what I noticed. Twenty fourteen normally is when you hit you know the milestones majorly, or mm, mostly. Is what I'm trying to say is when you mostly hit your milestones, um, relationship wise, at least like for kids and stuff. Um, I hadn't even had a boyfriend at this point up until my ex and I were going out. Literally that time makes me cringe now. Um, it was any whatever. Um, so my I kind of just wanted to get that over with. And my mom was talking to me, she was like, he was just kind of an insert face here. Really. I mean, he could have met anyone. That's what he did. He really could have met anyone. So, oh yeah, and I found some interesting information out about, um, I think I'm kind of like something I need to do. Um, about the guy that I like, his brother. Um, because the guy that I like, me, has a younger brother who is in one of my classes. And uh, I found out some interesting information about him. That I really could have gone my entire life without knowing it was perfectly fine. But, you know. It was kind of funny. Um, so, yeah. Um, hmm, what else? Okay, right now. Um, my mom is home. Yay! Mom is home. Um, I need to go get some food. I'm going to get some food. That would be a good one. So I can try. I texted her and check up here and I was like, Mommy, can you give me that food? The fine. Okay. Who <laughs> just got here from Monday? The best. That was the best one. Um. Yeah. And I like the guy. Who's the girlfriend? It sucks. It sucks. And tomorrow is the worst holiday ever. Valentine's Day. Yeah, happy Valentine's Day to a couple. Hope it's a good one. I am in my hand, I'm going to sit at home and get screen. And be single. And probably sit on Tumblr actually. All of those of you guys who um, are Tumblr, Tumblrians, um, you probably know a guy who has me. What will? You are all what will. Um, if you guys didn't know, he committed suicide Saturday night. So, 
that was a whole bunch of good bit of information that I found on Instagram. And I saw um, Big Miracle, and it was actually really, really good, and the cast is amazing, and the acting is superb. Um, and it was a good movie, but I would suggest it's not really a kid's movie. Like, they advertise it as a kid's movie, but it's not some cute little Disney movie. It's not a kid's movie. A baby whale dies. It's sad. It's not a kid's movie. Um, but it's a lot, it's, it's pretty emotionally heavy and stuff, so, yeah. It's really good though, so I would suggest going out and seeing it. Um, and take your kids, if you wish. It's not necessary, though. So I'm gonna be out. So I'm gonna go now, um, to my mom's home. Go see her. Yeah. Bye! <gasps>